gamble. And every move can be your last. And now, here's your host, the star of High Rollers, Mark Leona. And good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. Time for another exciting edition of High Rollers here on our channel once again. Glad you could join us. And uh, we've got an interesting match for you tonight here once again, because this match is going to pit our current number one ranked player, a seated player, against our current number four. And that, of course, being Andrew St. Clair against Will Medina. How are you tonight, Andrew? I'm doing good, Mark. How are you doing? I am doing just fine, sir. And uh, how's the? And uh, you just had a birthday not too long ago. How'd that go for you? It went, it went well. It went well. I uh, went to uh, went to David Bus for my birthday. I I won some tickets. I didn't really, I didn't pick any prizes, but. Uh, Hey, I'm I'm 43 now, and uh, I'm right here. And I'm ready for I'm ready for some. I'm ready to do have a little bit a little bit of a uh, do some bragging right there against Mr. Medina here today. All right. Well, best of luck to you. And uh, your opponent here tonight is going to be trying for his fifth win of the season, and he actually just got a Nintendo Switch, also. So uh, welcome to the club. Uh, that being Mr. Will Medina. Uh. Bartender, bartender, get me a drink. Uh, yeah, I am part of the club. <laughs> uh, well, we've got drinks uh, free from our bar uh, during, in, during the commercial breaks, Will, so we got you covered. Uh, <laughs> we've also got you covered in terms of prizes. Let's find out what those are right now. Certainly. Getting us started here in this game of high rollers, we start with column one. We have those fri prizes there. They have the game room. We have the snowmobile. We have the Bora Bora cruise. We have the Caribbean resort vacation and the trip to Egypt. Those five prizes again total for eighty five thousand four hundred dollars. In column two, we got a prize there. Start at the home computer. That's worth three thousand six hundred ninety seven dollars. And finally, in column three, to go with the den, we're going to add a antique roll-top desk for $2,240, making that column worth $7,714, and a board value in game one today, $96,811. Very nice. All right, let's see how our numbers line up for game number one. Our hot column... Does not exist yes. for game one. Again? Come on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oddly enough, column two, we just missed a hot column by one number, if you can believe it. Nonetheless, you have to earn your prizes the hard way, players. Andrew, you're using the Z key. Will, you're using the M key, all right? All right. And your first question tonight, players, coming up. In the Bible, what was the country east of Eden where Cain lived after he killed Abel? Was it the land of Nineveh, the land of Patrice, or the land of Nod? Andrew. Uh, the first one. Land of Nineveh? No, that's incorrect. The correct answer is the land of Nod, and Will gets to roll first. The land of Nod, he was named. Uh... Okay, and I'm going to have to switch keyboards here. All right. Uh, excuse me, roll the dice. It's not working for your boy. Oh, there you go. And you got a double. Oh, wow. Just like that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ah, uh, for right now, let's let's just take out the eight solo for now. All right, eight by itself, so I'll keep all the numbers in play. Here's your next question. Which of the following European countries was not neutral during World War II? Was it Albania, Ireland, or Sweden? Time. Correct answer there. 
Albania. Hmm. And uh, just for those wondering, neutral in this case, I believe, means that they choose not to participate in the war. Hmm. Alright, next question. What do you need in order to play Russian Roulette? A deck of cards, a gun, or a car? Bill. I think you would need a gun? Gun is correct! Yep, yeah. Is the I, Go ahead and roll. I better... I, I hate that term. I hate that term. Angie doesn't like that term either. No, I hey, don't. Uh, let's go ahead and... Seven. Uh, 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 f uh screw it. Six, one. Alright, six to one. Yeah, all numbers are still in play. And just for the okay, record, huh? folks, uh, we were not referring to the game show Russian Roulette on that one. Yeah. Anyways, uh, next question. On which radio show did the character Fock Morton P. Gildersleeve appear? Was it The Life of Riley, Fibber McGee and Molly, and Andy? Bless you. Thank you. Andrew. The Life of Riley? Not a bad guess, but Fibber McGee and Molly is the correct answer. Don't worry, you know that one too. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, well, go ahead and roll it. All right. Who told you my building? All right. Double. All right, only way to clear that off is the two by itself. Out with the two. Yep, and six now, the only bad number in play. The opera, what was the name of the barber of Seville? Marglo? Coolidio or Figaro? Andrew. Figaro. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Roll the pass, Andrew. I'm gonna roll it. The roll. I don't know, I'm not going bad number, but I gotta get something here. And actually, two. Well, two would just give him a bit, an extra roll. And now you've got a marker. Well, uh, 12 in this case. There are ways I can do it here. I would take the, the uh, I would take the three and the nine, please. All right, I'll start call number three, please. Uh, I think there were three ways to do it. I think I didn't get another one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, your next question, players. What company produces the bodies for General Motors cars? Fisher, Pricer, or John? Time. Correct answer, Fisher. Uh, by the way, fun fact for you all. You combine the first two choices of that question together and take out the R on the second choice, you get the name of a popular children's toy company. Fisher Price. Oh yep, Fisher Price. All right, next question. What year is also the name of a famous George Orwell novel? 1983, 1984, or 1985? Andrew. 1984. 1984 is correct, and a good year that was. Roll or pass, Andrew? Uh, I was eight years old at the time. That was the year I'm, I was born. I'm going to... I'm going to go against the odds. I'm going to roll. Okay, he's going to roll. <laughs> you have an insurance marker on you, so... Yeah, but uh, let's see what I do this time. And now you have another double. It's a four. four. Let's get rid of that. Four. And we are not on the golf course, sir. <laughs> no, I'm the four. Not that way, four. Anyways, uh, your next question, player. What is the most southerly state of the U.S.? Florida, Texas, or Hawaii? Andrew. Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. Now, you and Will both have two markers, but there's only three good numbers left. The 5, the 7, and the 12. Roll or pass? Pass it. To yeah. pass over to Will. Good luck, Will. Ugh, that is the nastiest kind of cheese ever. Good luck. Oh, oh, wait. Wait, he passed? Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. 
let's go. I said let's go. It's an eight. Only one of your markers, sir. Try again. That's fine. Nine. Well, you're, you're close, but not quite there. Try again. Well, there's a double. It's a two. Uh, again, a bad roll, but that gives you another chance at it. It's a ten, and Andrew takes game number one. Thank you. All right, Andrew, uh, in that first round, you picked up $93,114. Well done, sir. All right, we're going to take a quick time out here, and we will get ready for game number two after this. All right, Andrew's got himself a game here. Will, you need this one to tie it up. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got available in terms of prizes for game two. All right, starting over with the new prize in column one. It is a den that is worth $5,474. For column two, we have a home computer. And to go with that, we have a trip to Australia worth $35,000. Making column two now worth $38,697. And in column three, we have a new prize there. It's a camper. That's worth $9,911. A total board value in this game, $54,082. Okay. Well, let's see how our numbers stack up for this one, shall we? All right, we got a hot column this time around. It's column number one. And... Well, under $5,500 worth of prizes away to their players. All right, hands on buzzers once again, and here comes our first question in round number two. In math, what is the term for the average of a group of numbers? Is it the mean, the median, or the mode? Andrew. The medium. Median? Uh, no. Median would be for the middle number in the sequence. The mean is the mean. For the average group of numbers in, of a group of numbers in the sequence, you want the mean. It's the mean, not the mean. The mean. All right. We'll go ahead and roll it. Nine. All right. Nine solo. All right, nine by itself. All numbers are still in play. And your next question. Which rock group did Jimmy Page not play lead guitar for? Led Zeppelin, Cream, or the Yardbird? Hmm. Uh, no. Time. Correct answer on that one was Cream. All right, next question, players. Where do nuns live? Do they live in stations, order houses, or convents? Andrew. Convents. They do live in convents. Go ahead and roll it. Thank you. Go, go. Seven. The one, the two, and the four. I'll clear call number three for you, sir. Well done on that one. All right. Four is now a bad number. And here we go with our next question. All right, what famous group consisted of Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, Joel Bishop, and Andrew. Peter Lawford? Andrew. The Rat Pack. Without even needing the choices, you are correct. It is the Rat Pack. The other choices, by the way, were the Hip Pack and the Suave Pack. Roll or pass, the, Andrew. The Suave Pack. Ah, yeah. Roll it. All right, can I roll it? Uh, no, it's only one bad number, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Good. Well, you got the two, and all that does is give you a three turn. Go again. Okay, try again. Eight. Hmm. I'll have a couple of bacon cheeseburgers. Uh, three and five. Three and five, all right. Six, seven, eight are all that's left. And your next question. Mm. 
All right. Uh, he, he, of course, is best known for hosting $100,000 Pyramid uh, in terms of the game shows. But he also hosted American Bandstand previous to that. Who who are we talking about? Dick Clark, Don Cornelius, or Steve Allen? And it's Andrew. Dick Clark. Yep, Dick Clark is correct. Roll or pass, Andrew. At, at that movie, say America's oldest teenager. As uh, I, I remember that one. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll pass to Mr. Medina. The pass to Will, who needs a six, a seven, or an eight to stay alive. Otherwise, Andrew wins the game and the match. Well, hold on. Oh, God. And you got a trigger for Kayla the Brother Egg getting on a question. I know we should do that. Well. Good luck. Okay. Well, there's an eight. Well, I'll take that yep. off at least. And it's also mm-hmm. double as well, so that gets you a marker. Your next question, players. Which nationality cannot join the French Foreign Legion? English, German, or French? Andrew. The employees of a pharmaceutical company. French is correct, and I'm not even going to try to do an accent. Yeah. Roll or pass. You, you, you'd be surprised if I knew that one. I'm going to pass. All right, I'm going to pass it over to Will. Six and seven are all that's left, and you have a marker. Everybody's trying to burn down people's houses. Ain't that something? Nine. Pass me your marker, please, and try again. Seven. That's going to be Ouch. last call number two. All right, all you have left is the six, and here is the next question, players. What state was the first to have a woman mayor? North Carolina, Wyoming, or Kansas? Okay. Time. And that would be the state of Kansas. All right, your next question. In a 1982 hit song by the band Tommy to Tone, what was Jenny's number? Was it 853? Andrew? 8675309. I didn't even need to give the choices while well, I started to, but uh, you're right. All right, only the six left. Roll or pass? Pass it. I'm going to pass it over to Will. Get that right. six and that will clear the entire board. It would also tie the match. I need a membership. Good luck. I declare this game unsanctioned. <laughs> <laughs> Brother K, get a question with his fast ass hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, quit zooming down my street. Oh, game! Oh, wow. Good job, Will. <laughs> All right, yep. both players have a game. My goodness, well, Andrew, good strategy, but uh, unfortunately, Will got lucky there with the dice at the very end of that round. However, it's not over yet. We're going to play a tiebreaker right after this. We've got a good match on our hands here. Both Andrew and Will have a game each. Let, we're going to find out in a moment who wins this uh, match and plays the big numbers. But first, we've got to find out about some prizes for our tiebreaker. Yeah, we don't have much in the prize closet right now, but we're putting some more on the board anyway. Starting in column one, we have a brand new library. That prize is worth $6,137. For column two, we have a stained glass lamp. That's worth $3,500. And finally, for column three, we have a camper. And to go with that, we have a sailboat. 
worth almost $10,000, making column three worth $19,905. A total board value in our third and deciding game, $29,542. Good luck, players. Yeah. Probably the smallest board in terms of prize value that we've ever had here on the show. Uh, let's see how our numbers line up. And how column is column three? And that's the cheap, the most expensive one, excuse me, at just under $20,000. All right, Andrew, Will, hands on your buzzers once again. And here is our first question in this third and final round. What imaginary line runs through Greenwich, England, and is responsible for the world's time? The Prime Meridian, the International Date Line, or the 38th Parallel? Andrew. Uh, Prime Meridian. Prime Meridian is correct. Go ahead and roll the dice there, sir. Yeah, you can dive on your natural date line, but you don't have to somewhere else. Okay. You've got a five to start us off in this third round. Five the hard way, please. All right, five by itself. And here is our next question. What historic disaster led a reporter to exclaim, Oh, the humanity! Was it the Titanic sinking, the Hindenburg explosion, or the Challenger explosion? Time. That would be the Hindenburg explosion. Mm -hmm. All right, your next player, or next question, excuse uh -huh. me. What substance causes Superman to lose his power? And Adamantium? Kryptonite or Sargosin? Andrew. Kryptonite. Kryptonite is correct. Roll it. Thank you. Go, go. Five. Hmm. All right. How about let's do the, um, let's do the two and the three. All right, two and three it is. So now it's just three is a bad number. And your next question. What is painter John James Audubon most noted for painting? Horses, presidents, or birds? Andrew. Birds. It is a bird. And uh, speaking of birds, I believe the uh, day we're taping this is Big Bird's birthday. Go ahead and uh, roll or pass, Andrew. One bad number. My odds are my favorite. I'm the rolling. Okay. If I lose, it's okay. Good match. Five. Woo, that was close. One four. All right, one four. All right, six, seven, eight, nine are all that we have left. And your next question What product's motto was when it rains, it pours? Borden salt, Campbell's soup, or sun made raisin? Will. Finally! <laughs> Wait, did I actually get that? Yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, you actually got in there. Uh, what was that? Uh, that Morton Salt? Was that what it is? Did I hear that one correctly? Mm hmm. Yeah, Morton Salt. Yeah, I'll take that one. Morton Salt. I'll say that one. Morton Salt is the correct answer. All right, six, seven, eight, and nine are left. Roll or pass. Here, Andrew. Happy Kwanzaa. Sucker. It's not December yet, sir. At least not for this <laughs> calendar year. Go ahead and roll, Andrew. Oh, well, this is your game. Let's see what happens. Five, and Will takes it. Uh, all right. Uh, Will, I will talk to you in a moment. Well, Andrew, you were very fast on that button. But, what the hell? Yeah, Andrew, you were very fast on that button there. On this side. Will just got you on that last one, though. But you're not walking away empty, can't, a loser by any means. You've got $93,114 worth of prizes to take home with you from this match. Did you have a good time with us? Absolutely, Mark. Thank you very much. Well, congratulations. That was a well-fought game. Well done. Yep. <sighs> it was a well-fought game indeed. And Will, uh, you are taking with you in the big numbers round a total of 
$171. We'll see if he can win more money as well as maybe a car after this. Like Brandon said, how about no goddamn questions? <laughs> $50,171. This is your fifth win of the season, sir. Now, of Ooh. course, you know by now how our big numbers round works, so I'll just ask you to pick a number between one and nine. Uh, let's go to four. <laughs> number four. What do we have behind the four, Brandon? Well, should you get out rid of all nine numbers today, Will, you're going to drive out of here in a brand new Mercedes Benz E Class worth 47000 $500, making your total bonus round prize package $72,500. Good luck. All right. Chance to crack six figures here. Now, Brandon, of course, won a car uh, earlier this week, so maybe we can give another one away. Go ahead and roll it. All right. That's it. Okay. Really? There we go. And you got a four to start off, and it's a double. Uh, four, four solo. Right, four by itself, and all the numbers are still good. Another double. Wow. Well, this time around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something very, very funny. <sighs> do I want to go this route? Nah, not yet. Nine and three. Nine and three. All right, you're up to $750. Four is the only bad number. Roll again. Five this time. Five. All right, five on its own. So now the five is a bad number. Roll again. Ten. Seven, two, and one. All right, seven, two, and one. All right, best to get rid of that one now, because you don't want to have it left over at the very end. Roll again. Seven. Right in between the six and the eight there. Pass me a marker and try it again. Well, there's the eight. eight. Now you just need a six. You have at least two chances to do it. Four. Not quite. Pass me that last marker. Try again. quite do it. Ah, so close, Will. But you end up with $2,000 from this bonus round, uh, giving you a grand total tonight of $52,171. Congratulations. And folks, that wraps it up for us here for tonight on High Rollers. Join us next time when we have two more players up here to try their hand at possibly winning a car. We'll see you then. Some of our party contestants will receive an electric toothbrush in Listerine. It's strong enough to give you clean breath that lasts hours. Listerine acid kills germs that cause bad breath. Listerine uses directed. A punch bowl set in Canada Dry. The name that means refreshment with a special sparkle beverage for every taste. Canada Dry ginger ale. The supply of pasta mamas brings convenience to gourmet cooking with its designer line of pasta. Everything from fettuccine alfredo to their line of dessert pastas and sauces from pasta mamas. Amelia Earhart Super Lightweight Non-Stop Carry-On Luggage. Casual, practical design with your lifestyle in mind. Quality luggage you can count on. Non-Stop by Amelia Earhart. And one lucky member of our studio audience will receive Science Systems Sensor Chess, providing the realism of intelligent chess and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Science System provides eight levels of strategic play from the beginner to the advanced player furnished by Science System. This is Brandon Scrugg speaking for High Rollers, a Mark Leota production in association with MVG Productions.